Yeah, two seconds.
come to prove to me. Yes. Are you sure you want to do this? Yep. And there's no changing your mind? Nope. Come on! <laughs> no way! Come on! No way! Why? Because it's freezing! Take my shoes then. You sure? Okay. I can't believe you did that. What? It was refreshing. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hold on. Come in. But that was a stupid face. Do it again. Apparently they had to rebuild the tower and the steeple. The old one burnt down. Yeah, I think the old stuff looks cooler. Yeah, well there was a sign round there that said it was built in the 12th century and when they excavated it there was a load of bodies inside. Sam? The ghost collects the grass from all around and takes it home. Wow. In this carriage of bones, driven by a headless coachman. Really? <laughs> really. And there's a skeleton dog, too. It's so cool. So, who's this? Um. Dean. Dean. He was just telling me about. Um, the legend of the ruins. Yeah, you know there's a ghost. The woman who used to live round here that roams around. She rides in a carriage constructed with the bones of the husbands she murdered. <laughs> right. Cool. Shall we? Yeah, okay. Thank you for that. Sure, no problem. Maybe I'll see you around. So we talked to Sam a little, exchanged a few ghost stories. There's something about him I didn't like. Something wrong. I felt it. <laughs> well, I'm afraid feeling alone doesn't hold much water in cases like this. People tend to want a little more. <clears throat> I'm 
So why don't you tell me what happened next? What should we do tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Like, where do you want to go? Oh, um, go to the dam if you want. Supposed to be good. Looks pretty cool. Nick. Hello. What are you doing? There's somebody there. What are you talking about? Just look. Hi, guys. Oh, <laughs> um, Dean. Sorry, I didn't mean this game. Oh, don't be silly. We're okay. Um, so what are you doing out here? Oh, I'm out here with friends, so, you know, same as you, I guess. Taking a walk, seeing the sights. Yeah, right. Well, we were just heading... How long have you guys been together? Oh, um... What is it now? Um, six years? Yeah, six in August. Oh, that's nice. We both look very happy. Must have been a good six years. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it has been, hasn't it? Yeah. So, um, I think we've got to head off to... Home. Like... Really? Yeah, we're going to head back, I think. Oh, it's still early. Well, you know. Places to go, things to do. Busy day. Where are you staying? At the bunkhouses. Um, I mean... They're pretty nice for the price. Oh, yeah, I, I've stayed there before. Good. Well, maybe I'll see you there. So, you met him again. And he asked some questions. They were inappropriate. Oh, maybe. Etiquette is a grey area, Nick. Subjective. Anyway, you carried on talking. I excused us. He went away. Oh, job done. Sam wasn't very happy about it. We fell out. You know, trouble in paradise, as they say, can be a very common cause. I didn't kill her. And again. I didn't ask. So what was Sam unhappy about? We're supposed to be on holiday. Exactly, just the two of us. Well, yeah. But you're supposed to be letting go. Relaxing. I can't help it if this freak won't piss off. I'm sorry. I just don't like him. Why? I mean, he's a little kooky, maybe. But that's what you said you liked about me. About you, yeah, not this guy. Where are his friends, anyway? We've seen him twice now, not one friend. Look, I think he's trouble. I don't like him. I think we should stay away. Please. For me. Try a little harder. Be a little more trusting. Fine. Thank you. So you were angry. A little. But do you let her win? She always had a way of getting what she wanted. I could have 
can't say no. At that point? Well, I presume there was another disagreement. The body showed clear signs of physical abuse, violence. You don't know me. I've read your file, Nick. I know you much better than you could ever think. So Dean intrudes, you fall out, you make up, continue. Too steep. You tend to underestimate these things. Trust me. Hello guys. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, good. We just saw the dam. Cool. I just checked in at the bunkhouse actually. Oh cool. What about your friends? Where are they? Oh, they're around. I like to sleep a little nicer, I guess. Sure. You should come and have dinner with us tonight. You know, we can talk some more and, you know, I'd love to hear some more of your more stories. <laughs> it really is lovely out here. Some amazing views. But also kind of sad. Do you think? How do you mean? The church, for instance. They're just ruins. Story behind them steeped in tragedy. Yeah. Must have been a place of real joy at one point. Happiness. No, it's just nothing more than the rumble and echo of memories. Yeah. If you listen carefully when you're there, you can hear them. Who? The memories. Ghosts. When you're there, just close your eyes and you can hear them on the wind. Ghosts. That's enough. Me? Do you want to go to the church with me tomorrow? You, get out. And we can hear them together. What are you doing? I've had enough of your bullshit. Sam? Are you deaf? Time for you to fuck off. What the hell were you doing? I mean, you're not in the Marines now, Nick. You can't just bark orders at people like that. Stop talking, stupid. Again, orders. This weekend was supposed to be ours. It's supposed to be about me and you, not some sideshow freak who won't piss off. No. 
Oh, there's a clear pattern here. And it doesn't help you. It's not what you think. I'm sure. So what triggered the first hit? Did she work the military angle and hit you with your own past? So you just went to sleep? Yeah. I thought I'd let her cool down. I'd blow off some steam. Wake up tomorrow and start again. I never heard a thing. Sam? Have you ever really felt panic? I mean pure, absolute panic. I don't think so. It blinds you to everything. The blood pumps so hard it's all you can hear. You're not really there anymore. You become a machine. Glad you could join us. Where is she? What have you done with her? I'm afraid she's no longer with us. What are you talking about? She's a ghost, Nick. All you had to do was appreciate what you had. Love her a little more. But you didn't. Now she's dead. I couldn't save her. It's too late. I made him pay. We've searched the scene. We've been there. There was no Dean. Records show that in fact, there never was. No body, no evidence. I killed him. Only one man laid his hands on Sam that weekend. And it was you. You are you? No, Nick. You're lying. You lost it out there. Trauma, stress, medication. You created your own little world. There was only one body found at the ruins and it wasn't Dean. Didn't stand a chance. I loved her. 
You killed her. I know this is hard for you. I understand. You're a liar. I'll fight this. I'm afraid it's already over. Where do you think you are? I'm gonna leave you alone now. When you're ready, they'll take you back to your room. Rest up. I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Now you know why I never needed to ask.